Welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial for PvP. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to quickly get started using the program. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and open it from the dock here at the bottom of the screen. As soon as it opens, you're going to see the Welcome to PvP window where you've got three different options. You can create a new show, open a sample show, or access the user's manual. We're going to go ahead and click on Create New Show. That's going to open up the main window for PvP and also this little wizard here at the top of the screen. This is going to allow us to very quickly connect our screens and then create target sets and layers for those screens. So I'm going to click on the drop down here by screen 1. And in this menu, you're going to see all the different screen types that we can create here in PvP. At the top is going to be any system display that's connected to the computer. So that's going to be any DVI, HDMI, VGA, DisplayPort screens that may be connected. Up next is going to be anything Blackmagic connected via Thunderbolt or PCI, and you're going to see all of the resolutions available for those individual devices when you look at that and the mouse over. And below that is NDI. This is network video, so this is going to be a video signal that you can send over the network, an output from PVP. And then up next is Siphon. Siphon is the ability to send video from program to program on the same machine, so you can select a Siphon output as well. And then last up is custom, and you would create a custom screen if you don't actually have access to the actual output that you're going to be using. You can use a custom screen as a placeholder until you have your final screen available. So I'm going to go ahead and create one screen here that is my SDI output, and I'll create another one for NDI by just clicking that plus at the bottom left corner of the program, and then selecting my NDI output as well. You'll see just below that an option for creating target sets and creating layers. And I'm going to cover those in a lot more depth in their own tutorials, but we're going to go ahead and leave both of those boxes checked so that I can use both of my screens and output two separate targets at the same time and have two separate layers to do that with. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK there, and you'll see as soon as that happens that I've got two separate layers here in my layer strips and one of them has target set 1 applied, the other one has target set 2 applied. We'll cover all of these other options for the layer strips in the layers tutorial, but now we need to import media so that we can play it out from PVP. So I'm going to click this plus in the bottom left hand corner and select from finder. And at that point I'm going to navigate to the desktop where all of my content is stored here in this folder and select this church motion graphics content right here going to go ahead and import that. That's going to import here into the program. And then all I have to do to trigger this out from PVP is select the layer that I want to play out to. So I'm going to select layer one and then click on this queue. And that's going to trigger the media to the screen that I have selected here, which is target set one. And then I can trigger to the other screen that is target set two here by selecting layer two and clicking a piece of content. And then you'll see here in the master that that content is now playing out to the second screen on that target set that I selected here. That's all it takes to get started using PvP. If you'd like to add more screens or more targets, like we mentioned earlier, you can look at those tutorials to figure out exactly how to go about doing that. For more tutorials and more information regarding PvP, visit the website at renewedvision.com.